All right, uh, let's begin. Uh, let's begin with Android Studio. Fair enough. So, so here we go, people. I went to the files and I want to open the existing projects. So this is something that you might want to do just in case you're recording or you want to present something because Android Studio is a large uh, program and it has. Uh, uh, it's a, it's, a, it's a large program made up of uh, many programs. So it does take a bit of a time for the boot up. So in case you want it to just be up and running, then you might as well keep it ready before you get into the recording. As you can see that um, mine is taking a little bit of time because the Gradle build is, is, is indexing all the files and it's, it's going to show up soon. How we know if um, Android Studio, I mean, if the project is the Gradle build is finished or not, is uh, is when you when you see uh, there's no cross sign on the app section here, and uh, you will be able to see all the all the files indexed towards your left hand side. I'll show you the message when it pops up, and here there's a status bar that shows. Uh, that the files are being indexed so there you go so project uh, update recommend recommended Android Gradle plugin can be upgraded is what it says so I'm not gonna upgrade it at the moment because upgradation upgradation is going to take some more time and I don't want to really waste that much of time as you can see the crossbar the the cross on the app is no more and uh, so there you go it shows it's done at the moment on the left hand side you can see the app and the project and there's this gradle sign that is up there the best way to check is is to just run the program once and when you initially run it for the first time it is going to take time if you have run the program on multiple occasions uh, then please know, unless you are running the program on a hard device, on an actual device, uh, the previous runs will come into play. So you might have coded something new and you would want to see the result for that, but you might see, uh, you know, the, the previous emulate, uh, the previous uh, codes or the emulator that runs the previous codes. So right now, uh, the emulator has come up, and as you can see towards the top right corner here, the Gradle build is still running. So you have to give it some time. When it runs for the first time, it does take uh, uh, a long, long time for the indexing. indexing. And if you're running the uh, emulator for the first time, it again takes uh, a bit of a time. If you want to save on time, then I suggest you use uh, an actual device and if the actual device uh, and if you are presenting uh, and you find it difficult to take a screenshot of each of the screens on the actual device then you better be ready to invest time in your recording because this will test your patience as you can see it is still testing my patience I just want to quickly get over with it but um, seems like it is not going to let me do so well, there you go. The, that's the famous Google uh, logo, and uh, there comes the G. And when you know it's, of course, it's powered by Android. That's the operating system that powers uh, uh, all the um, Google applications. And when you see the Run app is enabled you can just click on that and whatever you've developed in your main activity because your main activity is the first activity that gets booted so uh, you will be able to see so that that's my main activity so your main activity is the is the core file 
that in case you're using Java, then obviously it's written in Java, but if you're using Kotlin, then it is Kotlin. The language can change. It's either done in Kotlin or in Java. Kotlin is picking up a lot of uh, a lot of value these uh, these days, and uh, Java has been been there for a very long time. And as I said, it has uh, it has been more than two minutes that I've been trying to run this uh, program, but it is indeed taking some time. So let's give it a give it a shot in the due course let's just uh, quickly hover over the activity main your activity main will be in uh, your um, layouts under your layout as you can see your activity uh, main xml so the lang the markup uh, xml is is the language in which uh, it is being designed so please don't get confused between your main activity and activity main. Main activity is the actual core file that runs the core file that runs the runs the functionality. Activity main is your UI, your user interface, your GUI. So um, let's have a look at how the GUI is designed for this uh, product and give it some time. Hmm. The system that I'm running this um, running Android Studio on is a 4 GB RAM, and 4 GB RAM um, is is actually a bit of a less space for all these programs that I have loaded up on my MacBook Air. It it does take some time. Um, if if you're using multiple applications like how I'm using, I have Android Studio, IntelliJ, uh, IDEA, and um, I'm also recording at the moment, so so definitely the system needs more power to process all of this. So if you're using a high-powered machine, then you will have better results and faster results. In my case, it's not the So there you go. There, there comes our emulator, and it's booting up. Absolutely. Okay. So basically what we're trying to establish is uh, when we boot up Android Studio, we load the program. That means we go and open the file. And once we open the file, the file gets indexed and then we see this icon on top, which uh, the app says that it's good to go. And uh, when we run it, uh, if it is if it is able to first it'll launch and then it'll install. And if it is launching and installing, then um, what we're trying to establish with that is that the program is running. That means we don't have any problems in the installation. But here, as we can see, that there is some problem with the installation. I'm not sure what the installation is. So then it. Be, be prepared be prepared that it is going to give you some more time it is going to consume a long time before you are able to run the program so let me just retry that once again uh, and if the emulator is running then that's fine otherwise we'll have to shut this program down and open the uh, the, the uh, just do it from the scratch all right uh, it says launching app on pixel 2 API uh, sometimes it can also happen because of the default emulator that is available. If this emulator is giving you problems, then I suggest you change the emulator, change it to something else. Let's see if it is able to install. No, it is not able to. It is still throwing an error, so we'll have to kill the program, and that's going to be the end of the recording.